Hey guys, so I'm going to share with you some of my prom tips that I gained in my experience of going to prom last year. Some people, mainly girls, are going to start planning super, super, super early for their prom. After New Year's, it is prom season. You're in it. Last year was my first time going to prom and I know that I actually did Google a couple things that I didn't know if I should get or what all I needed. So I figured it would be helpful to some people that do have questions on it all just to do a video. It's not as much of a worry for guys. Girls put way more into this than their dates will ever know. And if you're a guy with questions, don't worry, I'll help you out too. So first off, we're going to make a checklist. On this checklist, you will find dress, shoes, jewelry, brooch for your hair, hairstyle, hair appointment, corsage, boutonniere, dinner reservations, transportation, pictures, tuxedo, tan, maybe, bus pads, maybe, many petty. And we're going to get started. For your dress, just be sure that you don't jump on the first thing that you see. I love my dress, but I started looking around with my friends after I had already bought mine. I really wish that I would have kept looking and bought mine from a boutique called Poppy Girls. Either way, I loved how mine turned out. And just one little tip, if you're a freshman or a sophomore going with an older date or group to prom, just make sure you don't pick out a dress that's too mature for your age. Your dress may call for bus pads. For my dress, I needed bus pads because I didn't want to wear an uncomfortable strapless bra while I was dancing because you know they have like those hard wires and my boobs just weren't big enough to fill out the dress that I was wearing. So these are the bus pads that I have. I got these from JCPenney's and I think they were about $10. Just a tip, if you know somebody that can sew to simple stitches, just get them to put in a couple of stitches into where you want these to be in your dress and it kind of helps them from sliding around while you're dancing and stuff because mine actually did move around a little bit while I was dancing and boogie it. I'm going to stop playing with those. Your shoes are typically going to come after your dress. I got these candies heels from Kohl's. Make sure you don't get shoes that clash with your dress but will simply highlight the minor little detail that's in your dress and really make it pop. Bada bing, bada boom. Your jewelry is all going to depend on the shape of your dress. I personally had a halter dress so I didn't go with a necklace. I just went with some earrings to kind of bring it out and these are the earrings that I got. Really like free but still fancy earrings. And I got these at Kohl's. Your hair is another thing that's going to depend on the shape of your dress. Make sure that you schedule your hair appointments early enough because prom time is just a really crucial time for hair appointments. Luckily, my mom is a beautician. I think a pretty hairstyle and little simple brooch added into it can really help complement and bring your whole little shabinga shabinga together. The brooch that I put in my hair, I just got off of an old dress that I had hanging in my closet and I would probably never wear again. If you have a date, they're usually responsible for getting your corsage. Not always, so do be sure that you discuss that with them before you just insist that they're getting you one. You can get a bunch of different types of corsages. I'm pretty sure you can get hair pieces. Um, mine was just like a bracelet that is Velcro. Bam Bam and it's really pretty. Whenever you buy your dress they will usually give you a little sample square that's the same color as your dress and you can take it to the floral shop or your date can or whoever and they can help you match it up to make sure that you get the same color as your dress. One tip though, whenever you get your date boutonniere which is the little thing that goes in the guy's pocket, make sure that you get matching ones. Picking your restaurant and making reservations is pretty straightforward. Just make sure that you manage your time well with your reservations. My group that I went with went to P.O. Chang. For transportation, it's pretty common for a group of people if they're going together to all pitch in and rent a limo. That can be fun but sometimes it can be really pricey. Just one idea yeah, some people at my school, I think the seniors all rented a bus and all pitched in and rode together as like the seniors, cool kids, right? But for my group, we just had three different couples, so we all just rode in a different car and just followed each other to the restaurant and then back to the place where we were having our prom. Taking pictures is a really big thing with prom. Just be sure that you are managing your time well enough with you getting ready, and then you got to take your pictures, and then you go eat and then you drive there, and then you arrive late, and then you think you look okay. That's not even the point. Make sure that you're managing your time well enough. With the tuxedo, as I said earlier, you can take a sample square that probably came with your dress whenever you bought it to a tux retailer or a tux rental, and they can find you and your date like a matching vest and tie and a pocket square to match. To get a little bit more nitpicky about stuff with the girls, most girls are going to want to be tan for prom. If you want a natural tan instead of a spray tan, be sure that you start tanning like three to four weeks 
before prom so that you're not rushing yourself and you don't get really burnt and you look like something else. Just make sure that you gradually tan yourself so you're not looking crazy. One little tip that I picked up last year is a lot of tanning beds have Mother's Day specials so if your prom is later in the prom season you can to wait until Mother's Day and then get you a tanning package because I know that I got a good deal on my package whenever I did that. Your toes are showing in your shoes. Be sure to do something with them. Nobody wants ugly toenails. That's pretty much all of the list that we're going to cover. Just a little idea of what you could do after prom. Me and my friends all went back to one of our houses and we just kind of had snacks at their house and stuff and we just hung out around a fire and it was fun. You go bowling, yada yada yada, do whatever you want. I mean have fun, be safe completely neglected to add makeup to the list, but I did my own makeup myself. Don't do too much makeup because you're not going to look that good. Makeup doesn't make you prettier. It just enhances your features that you already have. So just make yourself look kind of natural on the face. Go light. Just a little bit more than you would normally wear. Unless you wear a lot. Don't wear anymore. I hope this video was helpful to you. I know that last year whenever I went to prom, it would have been nice to have somebody make a checklist and explain everything to me. Let me know if this video helps you out in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun and good luck with prom. video on my prom whenever I was getting ready everything through the day of prom so you guys can click right in the below under bar and I will have a link to my prom video so be sure to check that out and I will see you guys in the next video